Today's topic is dark, but an important one to talk about. This past year, most of us have either lost a loved one or know someone that's lost someone to the coronavirus. The stats we'll be talking about for today are from 2018, so they don't reflect the past year. Even with COVID, we know that most of the deaths were caused from complications from the chronic diseases, like diabetes, high blood pressure, and other respiratory diseases. So are any of the top five leading causes of death something that we can prevent or possibly manage for years? Let's take a look at the list. Hi, my name is Jared and welcome to The Five, where we share five interesting things in black culture and society in every episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified when we release new videos. To take a look at the top five leading causes of deaths for blacks in America, we'll be starting at the top five spot and moving down to the number one leading cause of death. These five causes collectively kill about 60% of blacks in America yearly. Before we get started, of course, I have to let you know that I'm not a doctor, a dietitian, or any type of medical expert. I am simply sharing what I found through research. You should definitely do your own research if you wanna know more about any of the topics I'll be discussing. At number five, we have diabetes that kills about 4.5% of the black population. There are two types of diabetes, type one and type two. If a person has type one diabetes, it means their body cannot produce enough insulin. If a person has type two diabetes, their body can produce insulin, but they don't respond well to it. Type one diabetes, which is genetic, is much more common in white people than black people but type two diabetes is much more prevalent in black people in America. According to the US Department of Health and Human Services, a non-Hispanic black person is twice as likely as a non-Hispanic white person to die from diabetes. These disparities could be due to a combination of environmental, socioeconomic, psychological, and genetic factors. Even though genes can be a huge factor for getting diabetes, your day-to-day -day actions can also contribute to your chances greatly, especially when it comes to type 2 diabetes. Recent studies are increasingly showing that there is no genetic difference between white and black people in terms of their risk of type 2 diabetes. In fact, once researchers had taken into account neighborhoods, socioeconomic, and behavior risk factors, the disparity was no longer there. This suggests that these factors play a much bigger role than one's race. The catch is, however, your race plays a much bigger role as to where you live and your socioeconomic standing when looked at as a group. However, things like cutting down on sugar and refined carbs, exercising regularly, losing weight, and eating a high fiber diet can help you fend off diabetes. At number four, we have stroke that kills about 5.7% of the black population. Having a stroke is an attack on the brain that happens when blood that brings oxygen to your brain stops flowing or the flow is reduced, stopping the brain tissue from getting oxygen. On average, someone in the US has a stroke every 40 seconds. Not all strokes, however, are deadly. One study found that African Americans are four times more likely than white Americans to suffer from a stroke between the ages of 45 and 54. On top of that, black patients were 60% more likely to suffer from a new stroke within 90 days of suffering an initial minor stroke. When it comes to deadly strokes, black Americans also have the highest death rate than any other racial group. Diabetes had a higher impact on stroke risk for African American men. The proportion of stroke due to diabetes among black men was 17.2% compared to 13.4% for black women, 10.5% for white men, and just 7.4% for white women. Some things you can do to prevent strokes include lowering your blood pressure and staying away from smoking. And number three, we have unintentional injuries or accidents that kill about 5.9% of the black population. Unintentional or accidental deaths are the ones most often caused by car accidents, falls, fires, drownings, and the likes. The most common cause of accidental deaths is a car accident, while the leading cause of injury that leads to hospitalizations are false. Even though white Americans are most likely to be hospitalized for unintentional injuries, black Americans are more likely to die from them. 
Some studies have shown that people over 65 are the ones most commonly victims of unintentional injuries. Even though unintentional injuries or accidents seem by definition difficult to avoid, there are still some things you can do to lower your chances of accidents, especially around the house. So making the house more accessible for elders to prevent falls, fixing old stairs, checking on your smoke detectors can all help. At number two, we have cancer that kills about 20.4% of the black population. Cancer is defined as a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. It is no surprise that those with low income who are less likely to have health care are most likely to die from cancer. This is due to the fact that some cancers are much more treatable if they are caught early, which would mean the person is more likely to get screenings often. Even most treatable cancers like prostate cancer are much more prevalent and more deadlier in African American men. Even black women are 40% more likely to die of breast cancer than white women. According to the U.S. of Minority Health, more than one third of cancer deaths among American adults of all races between the ages of 25 to 74 could be prevented by eliminating socioeconomic disparities. The top cancers for black men include prostate cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and kidney cancer. For black women, the list includes breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and uterine cancer. Although some types of cancers are impossible to prevent, some studies have shown that healthy diet and exercise can prevent some forms of cancer. And at the number one spot, we have the top killer of blacks in America, actually all Americans, which is heart disease, which kills 23.6% of the black population every year. Heart disease is the leading cause of death, not just in America, but also worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. However, blacks in America are 30% more likely to die from heart disease than non-Hispanic whites. Plus, even before the age of 50, African American heart failure rate is 20 times higher than that of whites, according to a study published by the New England Journal of Medicine. The study found that the four highest risk factors for heart failure were high blood pressure, chronic kidney disease, being overweight, and having low levels of HDL, which is considered the good cholesterol. And the complications leading to heart failure start early. The study also showed that three-fourths of African Americans who develop heart failure have high blood pressure by age 40. According to Dr. Ann L. Taylor, a cardiologist in New York, to prevent heart failure and other heart diseases, it is crucial to treat risk factors successfully. However, not only are African Americans less likely to visit a doctor and get routine screenings, but they are also less likely to be referred to a specialist. Just like everything else on the list, exercise and a healthy, balanced diet will go a long way in keeping your heart healthy. So cut back on the sweets and refined carbs and get moving. Taking care of your health should be one of your top priorities. Although none of us can avoid death, we can make lifestyle changes that could lead to longer and healthier lives. That's it for this episode of The Five. We'll be back with another episode in Black Culture and Society.